Hi everyone, Talia from Zart Art, and today we're going to be creating a 3D pop art collage. This is an example of what we'll be making today. So as you can see, this is a pop art inspired collage. If you don't know much about pop art, you can look at the work of Roy Lichtenstein. He created a lot of artworks based on comic books and that style of really bold lines and bright colors. And he used a lot of words in his art as well. So we'll be choosing a word and making it stick out from the background by adding layers. So to begin, we're just going to start off with a bright coloured piece of paper and I'm going to be sticking to the primary colours for this because they are bright and they will draw attention, which is a really big aspect of pop art. So just starting with a square piece of coloured paper, the first step is to create our layers for the background. So in pop art, they used a lot of words and a lot of speech bubbles like a comic book style. So I'm going to create some of my speech bubbles with some white paper. So we can just move our paper to the side grab a pen and we're just going to draw a comic book style bubble. Now I've cut out my little bubble shape and all I'm going to do is use a large black marker to create an outline along the sides. Okay, so now that we've created the black outline around our little bubble shape, what I'm going to do is create some bende dots within this shape. If you haven't seen these before, if you look at Lichtenstein's work, you'll notice that a lot of his works and a lot of his prints have those little dot formations, which a lot of his work is synonymous with. So I'm going to incorporate that element within my own work. So if you don't have a marker that's as large as this, then you can just draw smaller dots or trace around another circular shape and create your dots that way. But if you do have a very thick marker like this, then you just have to press it down lightly and you'll get those really nice dot formations. Okay, so now we've got our first bubble and now I'm going to go through the same process and create a second one so it can create some layers in our work. Okay, so now I've got my two little bubbles which will make up part of the background. I'll just let those dry for a little bit while I create some more background textures and line work with our little red piece of paper. I'm just going to add some blue stripes. So very basic shapes and very basic lines we'll be using in this piece, which again is part of the pop art style. So all I'm going to do is cut this blue piece of paper into some thin strips and some thicker strips and lay them on the background, which will be overlapped with our little speech bubble patterns. Now that I've just layered some of my simple stripes as a background, I'm just going to glue them on. And as you can see, I've got them overlapping outside of the page a little bit. And this will just add to the composition and create a really interesting effect where it looks like the words are coming out and coming at you when we add in those extra layers. Now I've just pasted on those really simple lines and now we're just going to layer over some of these 
little bubbles. Now what I'm going to do is start to create my layers from here. So I'm going to be using this foam tape, which will create that thickness and that layering effect. If you don't have something like foam tape, then you can always use cardboard. So cut up small pieces of cardboard, glue both sides, and then use that instead of the foam tape. So it'll create the same effect. It'll just take a little bit longer for things to dry if you are using the cardboard. So the foam tape, just need a few small pieces. So what I'm going to do is stick these around my little bubble shapes. And you will need a few pieces to go along the whole outside of your shape just to make sure that everything will stand up instead of just one side. So just make sure you've got a few pieces going around your shapes. I'm just going to do the same for this second piece. Okay, so now I can just peel off the side of this piece of foam tape. Peel off all the sides. If you were using cardboard, then you'd just be using glue instead of the adhesive backing. So I'll just peel those off and then stick these to our background. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of depth starting to build up. Now we're going to work on our next layer. So as you can see, we've got a few jagged edge shapes just in the background. So I've got this dark blue and then these red spiky shapes. So I'm just going to create those by drawing them on our colored pieces of paper, cutting them out and then sticking them on the same way using our foam tape to build those layers. As you're creating your outlines, just make sure you have something underneath your piece of paper because if you draw along the line of your cutout piece, then you should get a nice straight line, but you don't want to be drawing on your table. So just make sure you've got a spare piece of paper underneath. going to glue these pieces into the center. We won't need any foam tape for this part because these are so thin, they're not going to show much of a build up in those layers. Okay, and now our final little layer before we get to the word. I'm just going to do this one in white because the white will make the word that we'll be doing in yellow stand out a lot more just with the contrast in colors. So we're going to be using some more of those jagged lines. So you might just want to take a note of how big your piece of paper is. You don't want to go too big to cover all the layers in the background, but you don't want to go too small either. Otherwise your word is going to be small. So just do a rough outline. You might want to do it in pencil, or if you do it in pen, you can always cut it down a bit smaller as well. Just measure it up and see if that fits. So that's good. We can see all of our layers behind that white piece. So now I'm just going to outline this as well. So the bold outline will really make it stand out against the other layers. And again, it's like that pop art style with comic books. Everything has a very nice bold outline to make it stand out. So 
now just using my foam tape on the back of this to create a new layer with a little bit more depth. piece of paper we're going to create our word to sit in the middle now looking at onomatopoeia so the way that words look more than they sound we're going to be choosing a word that will fit with the style that we've got so we want a word that's really punchy really going to draw your attention which is why we've created these jagged lines contrasting with these curved lines if you wanted to pick a softer word then you might change the way that you've used your lines but we want something that's going to really grab your attention so you might want to think of words that you'd commonly find in a comic book. So we're just going to use BAM, something nice and simple. And because our piece is going to be quite small, you want something that's going to be easy enough to fit in the center without taking up too much space. So just with a pencil on a bright colored piece of paper, you can sketch out your letters. Now you might want to think about specific fonts that you want to use. You can practice a few different ones, but I'm just going to go for some simple bubble type writing. So this will contrast quite nicely with our jagged lines. So just making sure that the letters kind of intersect with each other as well so we can cut them out as one piece instead of individual letters. But of course, if you aren't using a Staley knife, then you can do individual letters, cut them out and then layer them. But I've got my cutting mat and a cutting knife here so I can cut out the center of the letters quite easily. Now we've got our word outlined. I'm just going to add a few more of those dots. So just using another contrasting color and going around those letters. So now this is our last step in the process just making that word stand out by adding our foam tape or your cardboard, depending on what you have. I'm just gonna add this to the back of the letters and this will create our final layer. So there we go, we've got our last layer and we've got a bit of depth created with that foam tape, just bringing the final word out a bit more than the background sticking down. So this is a really fun way of looking at pop art relating to that comic book style that Lichtenstein used in his own work and a really nice way of going about a paper collage. I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.